All right, today we're gonna to talk about equations versus expressions notes. Okay, so hopefully if you've been paying attention to your warm-ups, you know that equations are different from expressions because one has an equal sign and one does not, okay? So equations have an equal sign and they almost say equal right in the beginning, okay? So equations are gonna have an equal sign. So this here's how we might see it on star. It says, which of these can be written as an equation? And we know that equations have equal signs. So, or the word is followed by a number. So it says three times 0 0.35 0 .35 plus r. So three times 0 0.35 plus r. So we didn't have an equal sign. We didn't have our keyword is. So that is an expression. So let's try letter B. Letter B says four is less than so we do have that is, but it's followed by the words less than, which is not our number we want. So four is less than twice Q, okay? So again, not an equation because it doesn't have an equal sign. It has a less than sign. So our next one says half. Half is like dividing by two. The product, product is multiplication of six and t. So we did six t, and then half would be dividing by two. Again, we don't have an is, we didn't have an equal sign, so it can't be c. And then our last answer, seven times w is, followed by that 21, so seven times W is 21. So this is the only one that makes sense as an equation. I skipped this line up here, so let's go back and fill it in. So it says blank at the end of a sentence means this. So normally a number at the end of a sentence means it's an equation, usually. Okay, equals when it says is a number, right, is and then a number, at the end of a sentence means it's an equation, okay? So that's a good trick. If you look at the end, it says is 72, is 11, is 24, is four. So anytime you see the word is followed by a number at the end of a sentence, it means it's an equation. All right, and that's equations versus expressions.